Welcome, welcome, one and all. I'm Mike, the Digital Kid, and this is PC Tengen, my chronological examination of every game released for the PC Engine, also known as the TurboGrafx-16. Going by the Japanese release date for every Hue card, I'm going to give myself 10 minutes to play each game and tell you what I think of it. And today's game is Alien Crush, released by Naxatsoft in Japan on September 14th, 1988, and into the U.S. on August 29th, 1989. Alien Crush is the first entry of the Crush Pinball series, which takes awesomely creepy atmospheres and blends them with good physics and tough bonus stages. Naxat, the video game division of Axan, a branch of the Kaga Electronics Company, has released several games on the NES and some for the PCE, including shoot 'em ups like Spriggan and Rekka, so it makes sense that they're used to shoot 'em ups because the actual developer of the game is alleged to be legendary shoot 'em up company Compile, makers of Xanak, Least, and all that other good stuff. And I guess pinball has a lot of common with shooters with their hectic pace and intense focus on what's going on in the screen. But I am pretty good at shoot 'em ups. I'm not the best at pinball, but I can rack up a fair score in this gruesome gallery. Or can I? Well, uh, I guess I'll just hit the timer and find out. Three, two, one, start. Yeah, kind of botched the intro there. <laughs> a little bit. Um, I'm a little out of practice with this. Took like a day off from recording, so already I'm coming back to this and feeling I'm not in my absolute best commentary state. But yes, Alien Crush. The older and slightly lesser known brother to the TG-16 hit Devil's Crush, which we will definitely get to at some point. Devil's Crush being more themed after, like, medieval horror and looking like an 80s metal video. But Alien Crush, while not quite as big or celebrated as Devil's Crush, is still a very fun pinball game. Some would say one of the best virtual pinball games ever made. Now pinball, uh, pinball is one of the oldest video games to ever exist, even though most pinball tables don't technically count as video. But the predis but uh, solid state pinball machines are kind of the predecessor for video games as we know them and being uh, time honored as they are throughout history, it would make sense that pinball games would eventually come to home consoles. The NES has some, the SNES has some, the Genesis has some. You better believe the Turbo Graphics has some. Well, the Turbo Graphics has at least three. I don't know if it has more than three. But this is one of them, Devil's Crush is the other one, and the much more obscure Time Cruise, which is not by Naxat slash Compile, is the third. And they're all very good, they're all extremely worth playing. But... This game, as far as pinball games go, is somewhat generous, I want to say. It's, uh, it's not going to slam down your ball in the death zone right away. The flippers are wide enough, the gap's not too bad to deal with. It's actually a little bit hard to get it down the sides, at least on the top table here. And ideally you want to try and stay in the top as long as you can. Oh, nice! We get to see a bonus stage now. There are four of them, and this one involves dismantling a giant centipede. There's some incredibly cool music, if I do say so. You destroy the head and his pieces go bouncing around all willy-nilly. Goes down with that hole, it comes back up. And once you destroy one centipede, there's another that comes out. I forget how many there are. Maybe this is the only other one. I want to say there might be four of them, but I don't exactly remember. Uh, we'll see how far I get. But... The bonus stages are surprisingly easy to goof because the very, very slick sides of the stage surface makes it easy for your ball to just rocket down there and uh, right into the death zone. Oh, 
Then you can just bounce your head off of the enemy and it'll just <laughs> no-sell your attempt to destroy it. I want to say there's a little bit of luck involved in hitting those bonus stages, but I guess luck is only a factor for not pinball wizards like me. I can't say that I've played the silver ball ever since I was a young boy, but hey, it's another bonus stage, wherein we gotta open these weird eyes, which kind of look like clamshells, while getting past the bumpers that guard them. Also, in addition to the flippers, the control pad is the left flipper, button one is the right flipper, Button 2 actually shakes the screen, but an interesting factor about Alien Crush is that no matter how much you shake the screen, you actually can't tilt. At least, I don't think so. If you just keep abusing it... Whoa, hey, I got it! Wow! Perfect bonus level! Awesome! Okay, you don't see that every day. Sweet! Now, I don't know if there's an end state to this game, if you manage to beat all four bonus stages, that the game actually ends. I know that's the case for- shoot! Well, I got cocky there. I guess I deserved that. Uh. Oh well, it'll happen. So, that perfect score might get us an extra ball, so if we're diligent enough, then it'll turn out good for us. Now, ideally, you don't want him to be flipping the flippers all willy-nilly. But I'm nervous, and that's my strategy in pinball for half the time I play it. Shoot! Damn, nation! Okay, it would kind of suck if I ran out of balls before the ten minutes were over. But I guess there's only so much I can demonstrate. There are... Uh, as you can see, we have an upper half and a lower half to the main table. It doesn't scroll in between the halves, though. That's something that Devil Crush would do later, but there's no scrolling in Alien Crush, so... You know, slightly less sophisticated, and... Oh, hey! Thank you! It's another bonus stage, Charlie Brown! Oh! Now we gotta destroy aliens and skulls! There's a fourth bonus stage, I don't know if we'll get to show it off, not at the, wit not at the rate I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, if something has a green arrow, you generally want to shoot into that. If something has a yellow arrow, it leads to a bonus stage, so you definitely want to hit that. And of course, you want to rack up as many points as you can on the bumpers, if possible. Now... Like any other pinball table, there are definite rules to how you build points and multipliers. Darned if I could tell you the rules. My general philosophy to playing pinball is hit everything and anything, and eventually you'll go places. Oh, wow. Wow, the fourth bonus stage, where we gotta deal with these, uh, kinda like... What do you call them? These aliens look like that planet on the cover of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, or possibly Slimer, but, ah, oh, jeez. But not really, their faces are different than that. Well, I perfected one bonus level, that's the least I could do. To be honest, though, I didn't think I'd be able to show off all four bonus stages in this play, so that makes for some really, really good footage. Uh, I'm impressed, honestly. I, I didn't think it'd go this well. And a huge bonus for hitting the giant eye tentacle up in the upper right. By the way, it's probably way after the fact to say this, but obviously the aesthetic owes a lot to the late, great artist H.R. Giger. Hans Rudy Giger. Uh... I'm still sad that guy died. He was one of the best. Uh, but, um... His works live on throughout pop culture and in games like... oh, Side pocket! Darn it, darn it, darn it! Uh, 
Well, you get a last chance there, but that didn't exactly work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The least I can do is at least show off the fact that this game has a second music track, <laughs> which is creepier than the other one. This is actually one thing that Alien Crush has over the uh, Devil's Crush, because that only has one music track, and this one has two selectable ones. So, you know, nice little bonus there. Okay, I think the time's gonna run out before I can destroy all these alien centipedes, but darn if I'm not gonna... Yeah, by the way, I'm not the best at pinball. I did say that, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> but anyway, I think you get the gist of Alien Crush. It is a fast, furious, very creepy, very atmospheric, very neat pinball game, which is very much worth your time, even if you're not big into pinball. Or even if you're not good at pinball. But just for its uh, artistic uh, merit alone, it's just so cool. Like, uh, Giger Pinball? Like, it's, it's such a simple but effective idea that I wonder if it's been done on other systems or if there are actual pinball tables that Giger designed. He should have if he didn't. But, anyway, that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid, so I'm just gonna blow that, uh, bonus stage right away. Uh, <laughs> it tells you you lost your bonus point if, uh, you just totally blow it like that. But, uh, again, I'm glad I could show off all four bonus stages. Uh, Devil's Crush has six. When I get to that, I don't think it's gonna be, uh, I don't think I'll have time to show off all of those, but I'll do what I can when I can for that. But I am Mike, the Digital Kid, this has been PC Tension, this has been Alien Crush. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, it is an awesome game, definitely worth playing. Uh, and it's a uh, spiritual sequel Doves Crush, even more so, but it'll be a while before we get to that. So, take care until next time, and I'll see you around. Peace, everybody.